Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. We are Cooking Conversations and today we are making incredible cheesecake. Now this recipe is inspired by Emmy May, who is amazing. We love you, Emmy May. We send you all of our love. And the interesting thing about this cheesecake is it is not made with cream cheese, which blew me away because I never heard of it before and definitely have never made it before. But when I saw her video, I had to try it. It is made with coffee creamer. Now, this is not even the liquid kind. This is powder coffee creamer. So this is going to be very interesting. It's coffee creamer. It is condensed milk with a little bit of lemon, okay? And you mix it up and you put it in the crust. Now, in her video, which I will link in the description, I'll put it up here if I can do it, but... In her video, she used something called tennis biscuits. Well, I wasn't able to have find um, tennis biscuits, but I already had graham crackers. So today, I'll be using graham crackers in my cheesecake, no cream cheese dessert. So this should be very, very interesting. So we are going to start with making our crust, which she used 200 grams of tennis biscuits. But I'm going to use these graham crackers and 200 grams is about one cup. So I'm gonna put them in my little Ziploc bag just like she did. I got my rolling pin and I got my spring form pan. You know, I haven't made many cheesecakes and the few times that I did make it, they cracked and I had to do a water bath and it was kind of jiggly and not set in the middle. So it was a little more trouble than I um, would like to do for dessert. So I'm looking forward to this easy recipe and we'll see how it turns out. All right, I'll be right back. So first we're gonna take our graham crackers and this is just about three, six, nine crackers and we are putting them in this bag and I'm gonna crunch them all up just like she did with my rolling pin, but I'm gonna measure it and see if it ends up being one cup. All right, so we got our graham crackers and we just roll it with the rolling pin and you end up with crumbs. So I'm going to keep rolling this and I'll be right back and I'll let you know if nine graham crackers was enough for one cup. All right, I'll be right back. nine graham crackers equals one cup. So this is what we need. I'm gonna get, I think she said two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna melt it and put it in our spring form pan. So we'll be right back. So guys, I checked the recipe and it's four tablespoons of butter. So not two. All right, so here's our four tablespoons of melted butter. I have our crumbs here. We are going to mix this to put it in our spring form pan. And I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, here we go. All right, so this is our breadcrumbs. I mean, not breadcrumbs, graham cracker. Ugh, that'd be nasty with breadcrumbs. With our graham crackers and our butter. And you just want to mix it until all of the crumbs are wet and moist. Okay. So, you know, I don't know if this is going to be enough crust. Seems like I should have did maybe two cups. Well, I'm going to put it in the spring form pan. And I'm going to see if I need to make two cups. Because I like crust in mine. And this is going to look kind of thin. So, let's see. Here's my spring form pan. Okay, now let's press it in here and see if I'm going to have enough. She used the bottom of a glass, so that's what I'm going to use. I got my glass here, it's all clean, and we are going to press it in the bottom. Oh, okay, one cup is enough, so we're just going to press it in the bottom, and then she puts it in the refrigerator so it can set. She doesn't bake it. So this is almost like a no-bake cheesecake, okay? So let me get this all pressed in nice 
and neat until it's all covered. You don't want any holes and stuff in it. So get it all pressed firmly. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And then we're going to make our filling. All right. I'll be right back. All right. There is our graham cracker crust. We are going to put this in the fridge and let it set and get more firm and start working on our filling. All right. Be right back. All right. We're back. We got our powder creamer. We are putting one cup first. Ooh, really light. All right, we got one cup of <laughs> Coffee Mate creamer. And this is the non-dairy, just the regular, not the vanilla. And the next one will be the two cups. Okay. All right, you guys. Here's our second cup and we need a half a cup of water. So I'm gonna just use regular tap water, that should be fine. And we are going to mix it together and see what happens. All right, we got our half cup of water and we are going to mix it together and let's see what happens. Okay, it's coming together. That was a half a cup. Hmm, it's kind of lumpy, but I think she said you just have to keep working it. Okay, so I got my little whisk. We're gonna keep whisking and whisking and whisking, and then we're gonna add our condensed milk, all right? So, Let's see. All right, here is the condensed milk. Oh my God, look at that sweet vanilla goodness. You know what? I'm tempted to add just a pinch of vanilla to mine just for extra flavor. So it's not exactly like hers, but I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla. So this is the whole can of the condensed milk. Oh, that smells sweet. All right, let's see. Gotta get all that goodness out of there. Look at that. Okay. I am putting vanilla in mine and the lemon and stuff, but let's see. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And now we are going to add our lemon. We need a half a cup of lemon, so I got this little handy dandy um, lemon thingy. I'll squeeze it in there and be ready for the lemon. All right, we got our lemon juice, and honestly, guys, I kind of tasted it, and it tastes really good already. So here's our half cup of lemon juice, and she said we have to add it um, in increments. So I'm gonna put a little bit, and then I'm gonna make sure it's all combined, and then I'll add some more. Okay, looking good. This is what it should look like. Oh, it does thicken up when you put the lemon in it. Okay, look. Versus when I first did it. Okay. So we mix this up. Let's add a little bit more lemon. Hmm, this is very interesting. Oh yeah, it's really getting thick now. Look at it now, you guys. Okay. Yeah, see? So I don't know what kind of chemical reaction. I'm not a food scientist, but the lemon is making this really, really thick. So I guess that's how you get the cheesecake consistency or the cheesecake flavor. So I am going to add all the rest of the lemon, and then we're going to get ready to put it in our crust. We'll be right back. You guys... So far, this looks really, really good. Look, and it thickened up. Ooh, I don't want to pour it out, <laughs> but it thickened up. Let me show you what it's doing. It thickened up, so it's more like cream cheese. Now, you know I got to taste it. I got to taste it. 
you know what? It tastes really good already. Mmm, you can taste the lemon in it. It's creamy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna pour it in the crust and you have to let it sit for 24 hours. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with the results. Thank you for watching. All right, so we're pouring it in our crust. We're gonna smooth it out, cover it, and wait for it to set. Looks good. Okay, so that's pretty smooth. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm gonna cover it with some foil. I'm gonna give it a little tap. Hope that don't loosen my crust, but I'm gonna give it a little tap just to get it all smoothed out and into the fridge. All right, YouTube, it's been 24 hours and we are ready to try our no cream cheese cream cheesecake. So I'm gonna get it out the refrigerator. It's been in there for 24 hours. And this is the first time that I've looked at it. I was very good. I didn't peek. I didn't try to test, even though I was very, very curious. So we are going to give it a look. All right, here goes. Let me hold it up so you guys can see. Okay, it looks just like I did when I put it. Nice and soft looking, okay. So let's take it out of the pan, slice it, and give it a taste, all right? Let me move the camera so you guys can see. All right, I had to get my little handy dandy cake plate out and stuff. I don't even know, do people still use cake plates? I know in my house, by the time I put the dessert on there, it's gone, but okay. So I released the, ooh, careful. I released the little edge over here and the bottom comes out. Okay, oh, is it sticking? No, it's not sticking. Okay, let's see. Oh, all right. So it's thinner than I realized. Mine is very thin. Maybe I used a big old pan. Maybe I should have used like a seven inch. I think mine is nine, but it's very thin. So let's put it on here and give it a cake, give it a slice. All right, let's see. Okay. Why am I cutting it half so I can get some good slices? So I'm gonna cut this half and then I'm gonna go like this. Ooh, I should have wiped my knife off. If you want, if you don't want to get that, wipe your knife off. All right, so I got my paper towel, wiping off the knife, and I'll get a clean cut this time. See? All right, here it goes. I'm gonna get it and slide it off. I'm just gonna slide it off with a fork. Let's see. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm getting my cake thingy. I'll be right back. All right, I got my real cake thingy now, so I don't want to mess it up. All right, let's see. Okay. Wow. There it is, you guys. It looks really good. Let me turn the camera up. All right, this is going to be my thumbnail. So, let's put it on a plate and give it a try. I'm just surprised at how thin it was. Next time if I do it, I'm going to use a smaller um, a smaller pan. But I don't want to buy a new pan, but we'll see. Here we go. Cream cheese cake with no cream cheese. Or right, what they call it? Coffee creamer cheesecake and cremora tart and all these names were. But let's taste it. See how it tastes. It's smooth. Mmm. You definitely can taste the lemon. Mmm, it's creamy. Oh my God. It's really good, you guys. 
I never in a million years would have thought that you could make a pie with coffee made. Blow me away. Let's see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? Icebox cake. It's lemony, it's smooth, it's tart. The graham cracker cusp is really good. Even though I could have used a little bit more, but it's good in proportion to the cake or the pie. And it's really good, guys. If you haven't tried this, you gotta try it. Mmm, <laughs> I am so surprised. Mmm, it's really good with coffee made. So I heard that in South Africa, they call this the Cremora tart, the Cremora tart. So shout out to South Africa. And if anybody has ever made this before, comment below and tell me how yours come out. Mine came out perfect. It's only three in our family, but we're going to eat this whole pie. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, Please like, subscribe, and comment. All right, thank you. This is really good.